Hey guys, Ultra for Life here with another duel video for you guys. This is uh, going to be a couple Crystal Beast duels. Um, I have three recorded, but I don't think I'm going to show all three because one of them is incredibly long and, well, you know how it is, so FPS uh, causes it to go even longer. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, uh, also the two first two duels uh, were very, very similar, so... Like as in they, uh, the person I was dueling against had a very similar deck to the second person I dueled against. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm not going to show both duels because they're basically the same deck that I dueled against. Uh, just different people. It's so weird. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I'm playing Crystal Beast. This is my uh, actual in real life build. Or as I think it's pretty much the same. Uh... I think I might have changed around the extra deck a bit more to make it more uh, of a actual like usable extra deck. But uh, you, you guys have already seen the Crystal Beast deck profile from forget how long ago. Um, I really hope that the rumors about uh, about them getting pendulums in the set after next challengers is true, and I really hope that Konami doesn't decide to be a jerk about it and make it OCG only like they did with the freaking Heraldic Beast support. Star Seraph support and the uh, actually, I'm kind of happy that they kept Star Seraphs over in OCG. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I, I summoned a kitty, I equipped her with uh, two of these, bump it up, up to uh, 2800 and attack directly for 14. Really nice. Um, I'm refraining from activating the uh, field spell just in case of uh, if he has MST, I don't want to deal with that. So. Yeah, <laughs> field spells kind of integral to the deck to really get going. Kind of like, uh, in a way, similar to uh, Gravekeepers, um, where they really rely on their field spell. Without the field spell, I'm pretty sure they would fall apart. Now, granted, they do have a second field spell, which it speeds up the deck quite a bit. Uh, gives them access to dark support as well, like Dark Arm Dragon, Rainbow Dark Dragon. Um, although I'd still rather run regular Rainbow Dragon over Rainbow Dark Dragon because I think Rainbow Dark Dragon's harder to summon in my opinion. And just that banish seven names part. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, you know. Um Anyway, so yeah, I'm getting my butt beat. <laughs> uh by a random dragon deck. What's he playing in the extra? Dragon, 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 dragon. Okay, he's playing nothing but dragons. <laughs> kind of cool. Oh my god, how the heck is he supposed to go into Red Nova Dragon? I wonder how many times am I going to say dragon in, in this stole? <laughs> uh, anyways though if you're wondering why I'm still refraining from activating the field spell it's because I don't know what he has and I'm kind of hoping that he goes and like kills my tiger so I can activate abundance and I don't want to lose my field spell <laughs> that's why I really hope my mic's on because then I'll be talking to my computer <laughs> oh he's got to double check that Okay, so he summons Mirage Dragon. Kind of just, if I remember right, yeah, he Kamikaze's a uh, masked dragon into it, and uh, into my tiger. And that's him draw, and also special summon a dude. If I remember right, he special summons another one of those flyer guys, uh, Delta Flyer, I think is what it's called. It's a little level three dragon that can increase a, uh, yeah, Delta Flyer, Flyer. Ah, oh, why can I not pronounce anything? Anyways, uh, yeah, he goes for that dude. Uh, draws into this guy, who's actually pretty cool, but I don't like his stats too much. <laughs> he goes into Stardust, I can kind of understand why. I mean, I don't want to deal with a dark hole or anything. I 
Actually, I don't understand exactly why he went to Stardust. Really good card. Anyway, so I drawn to uh, Promise, which is basically their Monster Reborn from the back row. Going to use it on Pegasus, which is going to let me put something else from my deck to the back row. Going to put Mammoth. Going to go into 101. Going to use 101's effect. This would be all self explanatory, by the way. I mean, I don't know why I'm like narrating everything. Uh, I'm going to use Blessing. Uh, bleh, bleh, blessing. Uh, and put uh, Pegasus into the back row. Going to finally activate that field spell and use its effect to draw a card. And oh, hey, what could I draw into? <laughs> Malefic Rainbow Dragon. Uh, I banished Rainbow Dragon from the deck to summon him and attack with 4k. I still don't get why people hate Rainbow Dragon so much. It's not that bad of a card, people. It's not that hard to summon at all on the deck. I can't remember which duel I summoned two Rainbow Dragons in. Oh, you know, that might be in the other duel that I was thinking of cutting out. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys uh, these two duels against uh, two different Dragon decks. And then I'm going to upload a separate video just for the burn deck because burn is, that takes a while <laughs> to deal with. And I don't want to make my videos too long. I mean, we're already bordering 10 minutes, I can almost guarantee you. Anyway, so yeah, he summons five headed dragon. <laughs> uh, kills my rainbow dragon and tries to kill Simon Honor Arc. <clears throat> I'm going to detach, save him, and he's going to go and uh, bring back Stardust with uh, Red MD. Now, uh, I'll tell you one thing, guys. Whenever I was doing against this guy, he's like, he, he was saying in the comments, uh, in the chat, saying, yes, I've, I can win now, and I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> abundance. Uh, gotta love the abundance. Yeah, that not negatable uh, field wipe. By not negatable, I mean Stardust couldn't negate it. And that's game, guys. Uh, what time are we pushing? Hey, almost 10 minutes, just as I thought. Whoops. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, Crystal Beast versus Dragons 2. Yeah, okay. Um, depending on how long this takes, I might just keep everything in one video, I don't know. I know people will complain if I upload two different videos featuring uh, the same deck, so we're going to have to see how long this takes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, another dragon deck. I don't know what is up if everybody playing like dragon decks that aren't like an archetype of dragons or something, or hieratics. I mean, this guy's playing the deck with hieratics, but it literally just looks like he took a, the K 
Chaos Dragon deck and made some changes to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, nothing's gonna happen here. <sighs> oh god, I'm yawning again. <laughs> Turn to Rainbow Path, it's mm, an okay trap card. I only run one of it, I think. I think. I think. <laughs> yeah, run one of it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he bottomless is a uh, good old mammoth. Poor mammoth. And he goes into Queen Dragon Jin. I'm not entirely sure. But hey. Whatever. <laughs> I don't get why exactly. I mean, he could have gone into just about anything else. Heck, he could have gone into Heartrand Draco and attack directly. Why is he playing two of five? And what is up with everybody just like wanting to keep everything all the same type? I mean, yeah, I try to keep archetypes all the same, but. At least try to make a good extra deck. I'm not like bashing him or anything. I'm just like questioning why he does certain things. Anyways, I summon Cobalt Eagle. Equip it with a uh, release and Kamikaze into it. No reset, so I tried. Mirror Force. Which I didn't really care about it. I mean, I still kind of plussed off of it. If I remember right, he's going to activate supply to unit, set mirror force... And, uh, I don't know what he's going to do with this dude. I think he's just, yeah, going to attack directly. I'm going to use Rainbow Path to negate it and add a Rainbow Dragon to my hand. I think I draw rare value. <laughs> uh, how did I remember that? Ugh, I cannot pronounce things lately. Don't know what's up with it. Anyways, yeah, I didn't draw anything all that great, so I set a uh, release and set Carbuncle. Um, release, even if you can't equip it onto something, I'd set it anyways if you're playing it in Crystal Beast. Because uh, if it's sent from the field to the graveyard in any way, it doesn't have to be activated. It can just be set. You get to put a Crystal Beast from your deck into the back row. Which is really, really nice. Now see, if I were him, I would have attacked first, then during battle phase used that so that you could get more damage in. Just saying. Taking 2200. What do I draw? Oh yeah, Pegasus. You know, I don't think they need pendulums. I think they need hand traps or something like a, like their own version of Kalut or something. Like I don't know, like a dude who, whenever a Crystal Beast or Rainbow Dragon battles another monster, you put it from your hand into the spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card, and 
the monster that's battling your crystal beast monster or your rainbow dragon gains X amount of attack during that battle phase or battle step. I don't know what other kind of hand traps they could use. So I, I'm really trying to think here. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't use uh, Pegasus's effect to put him in the back row because I wanted to get a certs off of a release. I go ahead and activate Abundance because I don't know what he's going to draw. So I decided to do that so I don't have to deal with like being killed next turn. So yeah. I summon a Mammoth and two Pegasus off of Abundance. Get both Pegasus's effects off. And I think I put, I think that's the last two Crystal Beasts I needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Anyways, I didn't summon him, obviously, because who knows, Dark Hole. <laughs> he draws into that. Dragon Shrine, the double Fool's Burial. I don't think he actually, yeah, he just sets it. <laughs> and now it's time for a double rainbow, everybody. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have found a better background, but I couldn't find any. I'm like, I thought it had a Crystal Beast background, you know? But I couldn't find it, and I decided to go with my Black or Greymon background. Because Black or Greymon is awesome. And always will be. Black War Greymon. You know, I heard that there's going to be another Digimon video game. It's going to be like a sequel to Rumble Arena or something like that. Can't wait. Provided it comes up, come to, comes to the States. It better. It's going to have like Digimon from all over the like series. <laughs> I hope so. They really should do it. Bring it to the States, people. Don't know who's like making it or anything. But anyways, yeah. 4,000. 4,000. Game. <laughs> Double rainbow, death by the rainbow. People caught him weak. They got killed. I do really hate it though that he has zero defense. I don't get that. I mean, at least give him a thousand or two thousand. But I really don't think it's like his biggest weakness or anything because his actual effects aren't really all that great. <laughs> uh. You know what? We are at 18 minutes. Uh, I'm kind of scared to see how long this burn duel goes. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna do it. Um. Yeah, guys. Anyways, that's gonna be it. I don't know if I'm gonna upload the burn duel. Um. Basically, that's just me versus the burn guy, and it drags on for like 10 minutes. Um. Which means it's gonna be 20 minutes by itself. Uh. <laughs> because of the slow FPS. Um, it's, ugh, I do not think people will enjoy it. I don't want to make this a 50 minute video. So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, what do you think Crystal Beasts need? <laughs> I don't think they need pendulums. I think they got enough spamming as is, but I think they need hand traps and more monsters in general. I mean, they got good spell tra and trap support. I think they just need more names, which will also help the summoning of Rainbow Dragon. Anyways, you guys, rate, comment, subscribe um, if you haven't already, and I hope you all have a great day.